Hello friends, we have already learned criteria of congruency for triangles like SAS, ESA and SSS. SAS or side angle side is considered an axiom. An axiom is a statement or proposition which is regarded as being established, accepted or self-evidently true. So if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the two sides and the included angle of the other triangle, we can declare the two triangles are congruent following SAS axiom. Other criteria for congruence can be easily proved using this axiom. But first, note SAS means two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the two sides and the included angle of the other triangle. That is why A, the included angle, is between 2S. And ASS or SSA is not accepted as criteria of congruency. If someone asks you to draw a triangle which has 5 cm and 4 cm side and a 40 degree angle, which is not included between the equal sides, you can actually draw more than one triangle like that. Means SSA doesn't necessarily make two triangle congruent. ASA criteria can be proved using SAS axiom. ASA says two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and the included side of the other triangle. Let's prove it. Say in triangle ABC and DEF, angle B is equal to angle E, angle C is equal to angle F and included side BC equal to EF. So we need to prove they are congruent to prove ASA criteria. So let's say they are not congruent. Say AB is greater than D. So we can take a point P on AB such that PB is equal to DE. Now in triangle PBC and DEF, PB equal to DE, we just thought it that way. Angle B is equal to angle E and BC equal to EF given, that was given. So they are congruent according to SAS axiom. Hence, angle PCB is equal to angle is equal to angle DFE. But wait, we are given angle ACB is equal to angle DFE. So how angle PCB is equal to angle DFE? It is only possible if point P and A coincides, means they are the same point. So triangle PBC and triangle ABC is same. Hence, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Same way if we assume AB is less than DE, we, we will reach the same conclusion. Means two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and the included side of other triangle. That's all for now. Bye-bye.